As a makeup artist, I think about beauty a lot. It might be to my advantage to say that the shape of your lips are beautiful or you have a perfect brow, but that's not what beauty is. So what is beauty? Well, I certainly don't think beauty is these perfect images that we're seeing in magazines or in social media. It's definitely not society's ridiculous obsession with perfection. That's not what true beauty is. True beauty resonates from the soul into other people's eyes. It's contagious, it's an energy, it's light. And let me tell you something, I work with women from all walks of life, all ages, all backgrounds, and the one thing that's always true is the most beautiful woman is the one that has the most confidence. The one who walks with confidence wins every time. They inspire everyone, and guess what? She's living inside of you. I have five steps to help you get to that place of celebrating your beauty before we even talk about makeup. But once you celebrate and honor your uniqueness, makeup then becomes empowering and fun. Number one, you have to tell yourself positive things about yourself. And I know it may seem silly at first, but listen, repetition of happy thoughts will quiet corrosive thoughts. And it'll stop what I call the compare and despair game. If you can't do it at first, I get it, do it with your friends. Send yourself a reminder on your iPhone to say something positive like, I love my smile, or write it on a sticky note and put it on your mirror. Number two, this step is probably the most difficult one, but it's the most important. You need to get to the source of your negative thoughts and let them go. And I don't care how you do it or who the source is, even if the source is yourself, you have to forgive. And this is the secret of the most happy people I know. And often during this process, you'll encounter a lot of buts, but he said that and she said that. That's just you trying to justify those negative thoughts. But bets are not gonna serve you. Letting go and finding inner peace will. Number three, history tells us that for thousands of years, women have been practicing the ritual of female beautification. They did it to show wealth, power for fertility, to highlight their beauty. It was so powerful. And we've got to remember that makeup isn't to fix things. Makeup is for celebration. So I encourage you to practice this ancient ritual. Find space in your life for beautification and use it to celebrate what makes you unique. The fourth step in celebrating your beauty is highlighting your feature focus. That's the best feature that you possess. Chances are you already know what that feature is, and from time to time, your mom probably told you, oh, you have a beautiful smile, or a stranger said your skin is absolutely glowing, or perhaps you see the way that that light just catches those little green specks in your eyes when you look in the mirror. Now is the time you get to celebrate that unique part that makes you shine. Number five, finally, as you work to celebrate your beauty, I want you to find opportunities to offer what I call contagious compliments to those around you. When you talk about the beautiful things that you see and feel, you give power to those around you, and they are empowered to continue to share beauty in the world. So when you see someone at the grocery store who has great style, tell her. If your neighbor has the most stunning hair you've ever seen, let her know. If you admire someone's strength or passion or the fact that they're a good mother, say it out loud. Because as you share compliments with the world, positive energy will help boost your own confidence. And that's when your beauty is gonna really shine through. Now get out there and celebrate your beauty.